All right, let's see if we have life. Uh, this is a picture, or a picture, this is a video. This happens to be an offline motion controller that I purchased uh, off Amazon. I had seen this first from my father-in-law's CNC machine, and I thought it was really awesome because every other CNC concept that I'd seen, you had to have a laptop, um, PC, Mac, something like that that you were using to control the CNC while it was running. So you, you basically had a PC in a shop, and my shop environment is not going to be electronic uh, friendly, of course, probably no shop is, but I am uh, afraid of having a, a PC, a laptop, something like that in, in that environment. So when they had this um, offline controller, which basically you use a flash drive and you load your file and then just put it in here and then this runs the program, I thought that was phenomenal because then I could just leave all my desktops and everything like that in the office. Uh, put my programs, you know, once they have it on file, I could just take that file, load what I need onto here, um, run what I need and go. But let's take a look at it here. So, I am not a professional electrician. This is not how the setup's gonna be. There will be better uh, cable management, for sure. Fans, cooling, all that good stuff. But we're gonna plug this guy in here, see what we got. Whoops. Jokes implied. All right, got some power. I'm um, using the breaker right now as my on-off switch. Of course, I will have a different type of switch here. Let's see. Okay, turn that on. We got lights. We got green lights. Yay. Yes, I know, it's it's very makeshift, janky, ghetto, whatever it is. This is my shipping box. It came in, controller box I made so I can handle it. So I can kind of worry about it a little bit. I am honestly not going to lie. kind of like the idea of having a, a box like this I can, I can hold. Instead of having to push in, I can grab, maybe move a little bit. So I may make a, a unit that is attachable. I can disconnect, also with the pendant, just, you know, to get my hands around to go through the menus, because this has a lot of settings, and instead of just doing, uh, you know, pointer finger pushing, I'd rather do more of what I'm used to, which is with phones and tablets and stuff like that, and hold it and do more thumb, thumb work, I guess you could say. All right, so here it is here. Um, right now it's reading continuous, and it's wanting me to reset it. Um, there is a reset button here. Okay. It does say ready. The pendant now also has a reset button. Turn it. Reset, push it, goes to ready. All right. All right. And now with it in continuous mode, um, I haven't figured out everything here, so I will know more, I guarantee you, day by day. Right now, I am going to just kind of zero out the system. Do everything is zero, which I found out how to do. So, let me change this. Now, that is actually a Mach 3 setting, I believe. I won't be using Mach 3. And I'm using a uh, VCARV program, VCARV Pro most likely. And let's see what we can do. So we have our Y axis, X, and then our Z. So let's start with our Z, which should be on the very end there. Um, let's see here. So push the button. Yay. Yay. Okay. X. All right, uh, ones I'm kind of more worried about is the Y, because they're supposed to move together. All right. Move together there. And then on the 
screen when you leave. You can see the Y coordinates, X coordinates, Z coordinates. Um, this is for A. I do not have A hooked up. And then we can do mode, which changes that top corner. Whoops, whoop, the very top left corner went to step. And we'll look at the Y because it's the easiest to see. So when I go up and down, it goes in steps. Instead of continuous. And then if I change that mode, top left corner goes from step to MPG. I'll put that there. This allows me to use this handheld. Now this is the, I call it the speeds, number of steps. Terminology, I do apologize. I guarantee it's going to be all wrong. I'm a novice when it comes to this. Um, I started my journey with this project uh, with, you know, how electricity works. Electricity for dummies. Uh, what's the difference between volts, watts, amps? What's the difference between neutral and ground? Um, knew nothing. This is my first major wiring project. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of proud of it. Um, but I absolutely know nothing when it comes to the terminology, and yes, if anyone out there sees something that's gonna kill me, you know, please feel free to say something. If it's something very simple, it's a novice thing, you know that everybody going through the process is, is going to learn it. All I'm asking is no need to be the first to point it out. If it's gonna help me, let me know. If you're just here to show your uh, knowledge. Um, yeah, I'll take it with a grain of salt. I look for the information in there, but I guess what I'm just asking for is constructive criticism. All right, so let's go. We're going to look at this on the y-axis. Actually, we could edit all of them to make sure it works. So let's start with our Z. We're going to turn it to the fastest speed just to make sure I can see it. Got to push the button to activate it, and then let's spin the wheel. Nice. Okay, let's go to the X. Push the button, activate it. Spin the wheel. Okay, cool. Of course, the one I'm always worried about because there's two of them. Go to Y. Nothing happens when you spin the wheel, of course, unless you hit the button. Spin the wheel. Beautiful. And then here, X10. Hit the button. Spin the wheel. Should be much slower. Which it is. And then much smaller steps yet. Awesome. And of course, you can see what it's doing on here, too. And then this also um, should be able to display, so it has like a, a tool path. Uh, one handed. So, okay, so we have a tool path here. Which, I do believe when it's cutting, it kind of gives you a display of what it, where you're at in your program, so you're not doing it completely blind. Um, the spindle button should change this. Um, which M3, M5 is the control to turn on and off the spindle. I don't have a spindle connected here, but the M9, M8 should be what turns on. When I get everything wired, it should turn on my pump um, for the, the water cooling. And then I will not have a lubricant or anything like that. I'm not doing like metal milling, but that should be this last one. Everything is a should. Lots of settings in here. Lots of things to learn. And I have, I believe, felt like I've gotten over the roughest hump so far. Everything else is going to be um, mostly more of the learning, the growth aspect of it. I think everything from here on out is going to be intensely fun. This was fun and frustrating. Everything else I think is just going to be fun. All right. Um, you can feel free to ask questions. I guarantee you I might not have the answers for you. I'll work my best to find it. Somebody else probably has better answers than I do. I just kind of haven't seen much information on something like this and just kind of wanted to post something quick. Hope we can get more information about these out there because I am starving for information and I wouldn't mind being the one to figure some of this out, but I don't know if I'm the best qualified to be searching for these facts. All right. You guys have a great day. I'm having an amazing day. Talk to you later.